Hello. Today we're going to have a look at my first ever video project, which I'm not quite sure how it's going to go because of two things. First thing is, for my last episode, I actually wrote quite a comprehensive script of what I wanted to say um, and was able to refer back to it. <clears throat> but I want to try and make sure that I'm, when I'm, well, when I'm speaking on YouTube, I'm kind of speaking authentically. And it's not to say that when I write something that isn't authentic, but I'd like it to be a bit more sort of free flowing and automatic, but we'll see how that goes because I might end up missing a lot of things. The other reason I'm not sure how this is going to go is because when I made this project, I was a lot faster and looser with my attitudes towards music copyrights. And so I used a song that I didn't have permission to use. So though I'm going to upload as part of this video, that video project so that you can see it. I think I'm going to have to try and talk over the top of it so as not to trigger a YouTube copyright infringement flag. I have no idea how that's going to go. We're just going to have to see basically. I don't think there's going to be any major repercussions. I don't think I'll get a copyright strike on my account, hopefully. These days I'm a lot more savvy when it comes to music licensing and I use a service called Epidemic Sounds, which I can thoroughly recommend. It's a big library of music and sound effects that you can license on a per item basis or in bulk for commercial projects or projects for the web or even broadcast projects. I've discovered them about two years ago and just I'm blown away at how good and easy it is. The only downside I would say with that is that their library is huge and it can take a long time sometimes finding, honing in rather, on the exact right piece of music or sound effects for the project. And sometimes you narrow it down to sort of five or six and it's still so difficult because I often choose the music before I've started editing and it really can set the tone of the whole project. I'm not going to keep talking for too long. I want to show you the video. Also, if I keep talking with no script, who knows where we'll end up. So without any further ado, here's my first ever video project. So I shot this video for my friend Ed, whose birthday it was, kind of as a souvenir. My brother and I decided to take him out on the water for the afternoon, in spite of the fact that it was pretty breezy and that kind of drizzle that soaks you through without really realising it. Ed's a real cool guy, covered in tattoos, super lovely, had a really fun summer goofing around, hanging out together. I shot this in 2018. You can tell it's summer because the weather's atrocious, Cornish sunshine as we say, and it was all shot on my iPhone at the time. That was just about the time when iPhones were waterproof, so I had sort of a great confidence in my ability to use it in bad conditions and so close to the water without too much issue. And that's probably why it's turned out as well as it has, just because even back then the iPhone as a camera and video camera was pretty competent. If I'd shot this on something like a mirrorless camera or a DSLR, I think it probably would have turned out a lot worse. Not least of all because the camera would be wet and I don't think they like that, especially back then. There's quite a big swell punching out into the bay, so we ended up turning around and running with it and going upriver. There's a real kinetic energy to my cinematography here. Uh, looking back, I would like to have it stated on the record that it's because I was trying to adopt a naturalistic style. So that was my work in 2018. It's come on a long way since then, I hope. Actually, 2018 wasn't even that long ago. Anyway, my work has come on a long, a long way since then. It definitely has. That was definitely my first experience of some of the basics and fundamentals of what it's like to shoot and edit a video, even though it's very short and even though it's very small. It didn't make me cringe as much as I feared it would. I actually enjoyed watching it, and it might just be nostalgia for the experience of being afloat with Ed and my brother. But, um, 
yeah, mine was okay. I mean, I wouldn't publish it. I wouldn't be able to charge a client for it, but as a little souvenir for a guy's birthday, I went bad. I'm going to keep this vid pretty quick because there's always the chance it's going to get taken down by YouTube for the whole music copyright infringement issue. Um, don't be like me. Be smart. Don't be like me. Don't be like old me. Be like new me. Use a service such as Epidemic Sounds. I think there are others like ArtGrid or Artlist. Epidemic Sounds is what I use uh, and it is really good and it's reasonably inexpensive for personal use and even for commercial work it's pretty good value for money and it takes the stress out of this kind of thing. Thank you very much for watching and I will make another video again soon. Maybe with more of a script, maybe more freeform, I don't know. We'll see how this one comes together. Bye!